Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now it's been a while since I've done anything uh, based on this channel here because I've been slowly progressively getting things but uh, like I said I had to hold back on buying things and I end up getting this uh, prop. It's the actual 1970 Halloween pumpkin prop that you would see in the beginning of the film. Now here's a unique thing about this. I ordered this through Big Bad Toy Store. Okay. I ordered just one, so I had to double check the website to make sure that they didn't make a mistake, and guess what? They made a mistake, okay? Uh, this is not a mistake of what you're seeing here. Uh, this actual prop does light up, but here's the thing. i seen two boxes sitting on my porch, and I'm like, what the heck do I got two boxes for? I brought them in the house because it's been slamming rain, so the boxes were wet, I opened up the one box, lo and behold, it is the 1978 pumpkin prop uh, from the very first movie. But then I opened up the other box, and guess what? It was, in fact, yet another pumpkin prop, as you can see right here, okay? So what they end up doing is they end up sell, uh, selling me. Uh, they end up sending me two of these, and I end up getting this one here for free. So, Big Bad Toy Store, I thank you very much for your mistake, <laughs> okay? No offense. But, I, like I said, I had to double check the website to make sure I didn't accidentally order two of them. And I didn't according to the website, so they must have sent me two of them. Why they did that must have been a mistake. But anyway, I end up getting two uh, pumpkin props. This one here is, in fact, from the 1978 movie. And I'm going to show you what it looks like here by shutting it down. Okay, and we're going to push this back and out of the way, so we get a little distance here. Pull this back. All right, now, as you can see, this one here, the way it is cut, it is from the original movie. It's an actual prop from the movie, not from the actual movie, but it is a replica prop from the, um, what you see in the beginning of the movie is the actual pumpkin, and as it slowly... You know, um, I think it increases instead of the, well, it was rotted, and then it slowly develops back into a full pumpkin. Anyway, it does light up, as you can see at the bottom here. All right, it's got a little glue strip here. What we're going to do is we're going to switch that on, see? All right. Now, one thing I wouldn't mind seeing this thing doing is the light flickering. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Maybe I'd have to get me a light that actually flickers. Uh, but this actual pumpkin prop is very cool. Okay. But it was funny because I ended up getting two boxes and I'm like, what the heck is this? So it's like, okay. I opened it up and I'm like, yes, I got another one. <laughs> so I'm not complaining. So I right, got the top of your stub here. Okay. The actual uh, texture of this, I'm going to show you my other pumpkin prop that I have. It is from the Curse of Michael Myers. I will tell you this, I believe there's a video up on this channel somewhere, unless it's part of another video, where I do state that that pumpkin prop is the 1978 uh, pumpkin. Uh, that's a mistake, obviously, because I wasn't aware that I didn't order the actual original 1978 one. Uh, it is actually from The Curse of Michael Myers, which I think is the sixth movie. Uh, I'll show you that one here in a second here, but anyway. It does come from Trick or Treat Studios, as you can see. Alright, it's got the uh, the logo and stuff. I'll take that all off. Because I don't plan on doing anything with these or selling them or anything. These are the actual directions on how to maintain and take care of your props and stuff. And Trick or Treat Studios, when they have anything, always comes with these labels. And it pretty much tells you how to take care of your masks or anything that you buy. Okay. Now, as you can see the texture on this thing. It's got little white spots, but you can barely see them. You probably can't see them on the camera, but they're very faded. Okay. So now let me show you the other one here. Twins. <laughs> I like the fact that they made a mistake, so I do appreciate that. Now you can see there's a little bit of spots in here. I don't know if you can camera can see it or not. But it does show a little bit of the uh, spots, white spots, kind of like a pumpkin color. In most cases, when you buy pumpkins, you'll see spots on them. All right. Pretty much the same. So I do have two of these props, okay? 
just so you don't think I'm lying. See that? That's pretty cool. I'm glad they made that mistake. All right, but anyway, long story short, put him out of the way. Put him over there. I'm going to show you the Cursor Michael Myers version of the pumpkin prop. Okay, now as you can see, he is cut a little bit different as compared to the other one. All right. And it is made of a plastic. Now you can see the actual spots on this one here are, you know, much more visible. Okay, so you can actually see them. But I love the looks of this one here. It's very evil looking. The stub or the stem on this is a little bit different than the first one. All right, it's pretty much set up the same way. And you light it up, and there you go. Bang. So I got three of these now, which is cool. I don't got no problem with that. All right. But you can see the spots on this. All right. So now I got a total of three pumpkins here, guys. Okay. Three pumpkin props. All right. So hang on. Let me pull him down. And then what I'll do is I'll show you what they look like here. I'm pick up the camera. There you go, guys. That is what they look like. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end this. As you can see, they are a little bit different. Okay, and the way they, I love the way they cut that. I think that's pretty cool. This is very traditional to the 1978 one, okay? But we'll be pulling the tags off and putting them on the shelf. All right, anyway, long story short, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Do me a favor, spread the word. Let everybody know about this site. It is a brand new site. Uh, I think I got a total of 15, maybe 18 subscribers right now. Uh, but I'll need your help to get the word out there. Tell everybody that you know, if they're into Halloween or horror related, that this channel will have all kinds of very unique uh, Halloween and horror stuff. I got a bunch of videos on here now. You might want to check those out. Uh, but, I, you know, like I said, I appreciate you giving me the help and spreading the word for me. And let everybody know about this channel. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be eventually pushing out some more um, videos because I got two more masks coming in from Amazon. They are, in fact, uh, they're Forest Druid masks, very sim similar to, um, they're related to the Odin from uh, Thor. Uh, these, these, when you do actually see these masks, they kind of remind me of um, Pan's Labyrinth. The creature from it, it's called the Old Fawn. He looks very similar to that guy. Uh, I do have those kind of masks coming in. Once those come in, I will definitely show you what those look like. Uh, but got to wait for them to come in. Anyway, uh, this is Pumpkin Horror. You guys have yourselves a good day. Oops, there you go.